What's going on guys? It's your boy Nero and today we're doing some fighting muscle. We are at the track brand hatch, the full Grand Prix circuit, not the Indy circuit, not the West circuit, the full Grand Prix circuit. So let's get right into it. We're driving our Corvette, the 2014 Corvette C7. I believe it's the C7. It might be the Z06. I'm not certain, but it's the new Corvette. It's in the Arctic white colors. So and we're green. Let's go. We're going to make a break underneath this Camaro for the first pass. And oh my god, going into the first corner, we slap that Mustang. Unintentional, of course. And we pass him up. Of course, I'm just racing the computer, so I'm not going to let them just pass me. If it was a multiplayer race, I would let them pass me because that would be a dirty pass. And I don't like dirty passes. Especially in multiplayer, where others have the ability to kick you if you do dirty passes. So, there's that. And if you have noticed, I'm driving without a driving line for the first time in a while. That means no assists at all whatsoever. And I think it would make the quality of the video that much better. As you can see, we're in third of 12. Oh, still in the first lap. Heading into this corner, we're going to hit the brakes a little bit, let off the gas. Hit, the, hit our marks pretty well. Move up the second a little bit. Alright, pass up that Viper. And we are in second now. Still in the first lap, of course. We're going to try to pass up the Corvette. And we do, we do, we do. Ah! Oh! And we're off into the grass. That's not something I wanted to do. That's not something I wanted to do at all. We're back in second. Right back on his tailpipe. Right back in his gearbox. Let's see if we can make the move to pass him. And we do on the final corner. Or at least I think that's the final corner. Unless this is a corner. But we are back at the home stretch to begin the second lap. And we have a lap time of 137.926. About a minute 38 second lap right there. It's pretty good for us first lap I guess. I don't know considering I ran off the track. But we're 9 tenths of a second ahead of second place. Heading into this little hairpin I find the car is working rather well. Well enough to go into this little hump. And oh no, we hit the brake a little bit. Uh, we're back off the track. Back off the track, alright. We still got the lead. That's all that matters. He's still right. Well, I wouldn't say he's right on us. But he's close enough. And we're off track again. That's not something I wanted to do. Especially twice in a lap. He's about three seconds behind us. That's not a bad thing at all. In fact, I think that's good. I think we can increase the lead. Put a little gap between us. A bigger gap, not a little one. I don't like little caps. Little caps mean mistakes can cost me the lead. And costing somebody the lead isn't really what I want to do. Especially against the AI that's as terrible as the Gran Turismo 6 AI. And that's not a shot at Gran Turismo 6. I think Gran Turismo 6 is a great game, so... Yeah, there's that. And we're heading into this corner. We still got the lead. In fact, I think we're pushing out our lead a little bit and to the final corner it's it's pretty much given that I'm gonna lead this lap in fact I know I'm gonna lead this lap uh, we're about I'd say about five seconds ahead uh, 136.194 that's pretty good and we are five seconds ahead just as I said heading down into the hairpin now underneath this premier board we are gonna take this corner right and we are gonna do well with it Whew, that was a clean one that was a clean one and we're gonna hit that corner pretty well all right we hit our apex as well at least that's what I wanted to do and we're gonna go down low and we are gonna well, we missed the apex but we get a clean corner and we're in this long straight just hitting our marks going about 135 140 miles an hour up to about 152 and we're gonna hit this corner pretty well hit our apexes right at the bottom line of the corner and we're gonna straighten our speed up and we're gonna slow down again and we go off track a little bit but not as much as the first lap and we're gonna hit this little straight this little apex area hit our apex well speed up a little bit before this final, well, this second to last corner. 
and we're going to hit this little straight, pick up a little bit of speed, go about, I'd say about 110, 120 miles an hour, up to 127 miles an hour, into the home stretch, to begin the last lap of this race. And I don't think he's going to catch me. I think I increased my lead enough to where I can hold on and slow down a little bit and still have a few seconds in between us. I can go off track and still have a few seconds in between us, in fact. <laughs> and we're going to hit the hairpin for the last time. This is our last time in this hairpin for the race. We're going to hit this area a little faster than we did last lap, but we're going to hit our apex. Come off of it clean. For, well, for the first time. Considering the last two laps I've hit that, hit the other side of the track. Hit the apexes, and we're going to come off into this little straight. Maybe we can carry a little bit more speed. Our last lap was 135.757 which is actually a, about a second faster or 752 not 757, 752 which is about a second faster than our last laps. And well not a second, about a half a second faster. <laughs> well, I'm an idiot for saying that. Pardon me. <laughs> we are going down into this little area. We got the win on lock. I don't think they can catch us into this little straight heading to the penultimate corner. Uh, they're not going to catch us. We got this race on lock. In fact, I think we, we're we in the final corner now. now I think we're going to beat our best time. We're, I'm about to find out. We're at 130 now. I believe about 130 now. Yep, we're beating our best time by... Wow! over a second that's fast that was our best lap and as you see we got the win Nero out peace out y'all